hello welcome so now we are on the part nine of our design of a two-story residential building so part nine will be designing a reinforced concrete slab and including in stairs okay using start rcdc so let's open start rcdc all right Okay, put natin yung project title. Code will be 2018. Link natin yung staad. And then we'll go to slab. Okay, so sa slab, since second floor, dito na tayo sa second floor. Na slab. Kasi wala na. A roofing naman tayo na. Sa roof beam. Then so second floor is 5.1 meter. Create new project. Nakita natin dito ang yon. Okay. Tapos as we so ito ngayon kasi itong portion nato is an open open area. So wala tayong slab jan. I cut out natin yan. So make it true. Yeah. So open it. Alright. So okay, initially ang gagawin natin sa slab. I-input natin tong impost, live, and thickness. Okay. So thickness ng slab natin is 125. <laughs> Okay, live load natin dyan is 1.9. Superimposed load is yung kinakarga ng slab. So, balik tayo dun sa loading. Load generation. Cute natin yung kinakarga ng slab. Not excluding the weight. And not including the weight. Okay. Yeah, suspended beam, suspended floor. Yung slab load natin dyan is 4.25. Okay. So, dito ko nalang ilagay. Pupitin natin yung weight ng slab. It's unit weight of concrete times 0. Times thickness ng slab. Yeah. So, yan yung area, area load or weight ng slab. So, deduct na lang natin. Yan yung magiging impost. So, ang mayayari, 4.25 less, yan. So, impost load dun sa slab, meaning yung load ng uh, floor finish, load ng ceiling, MEPF, etc. Yung mga dead load na yun, excluding yung weight, yung self-weight ng slab is 1.19 kp. KPA kilometer per square meter so 1.19 yeah okay so naka specify itong slab na to one way two way to one way two way two way two way ito naman naka ano na to naka open na yan siya right so let's go to settings, design parameters. Okay, so use natin curtailed. Hindi natin magamit. Well, hindi na lang may time mag-bent up bars. Rebar. Okay, prefer diameter. 10mm lang tayo. What else? Okay. Grade natin dyan is grade 40. 76. Right. Ayan. Then 3000 PSI or 20 MPA covers 20 minimum thickness. You okay? Next, drop it to open and continue. Design a tile. Mm, 
Pim. Ayan na. Kasi na yung slab. Kasi na yung tura niya. And then, dito tayo sa reports. Text schedule. Nakalagay din dyan. Pero ka pang schedule ng slab. Okay. So, along short and long spans. Nakalagay na dyan. Bottom top reinforcement. Dyan na. And... In plan detailing. Okay. Yan. In plan detailing. So again, pwede natin itong ma-save sa CAD file. As a CAD file. Then, you know, gagamitin natin sa plan. Slab section, pwede ka rin maglagay. And then, next is yung stair. So stair section. Now, yung stair naman... Since dito yung portion ng stair natin. And then yung height niyan is around 3.2. Okay. So. Okay. Bottom landing. Bottom landing na beam. Okay. Dito tayo sa beam sizes muna. Bottom landing, 200 lang. By 300. Same here. Okay. And then, bottom landing and the slab. Correct. Number of risers. So, ang mayayari, since that's 3.2. Riser natin dyan ay 18. Okay. 18. Okay, span. Span nito is... This is 5 meters. Okay, tama lang. 5. Right, it is 320. 3,200. Landing. Bottom landing. Top landing. Okay. Okay, draw stair. Yun na. Yun. So, ganun lang ka dali yung sa stair. Then, naka-indicate na dyan, sizes ng rebars and spacings. Center to center spacing. Okay. Then, again, meron kang design calculations, POQ, and bar bending schedule if needed. Okay. So, that's the end of our series on designing storage residential building using stud pro and stud rctc okay thank you so next series i'll be making maybe series on yun nga yung stud foundation advance we'll be discussing may hindi design ko kasi next is a four-story school building so that's sitting on a mat footing foundation so, yun yung i, the, i, the next series ko about Stad Foundation Advance. So, foundation type. Thank you.